Hey guys, I um, wanted to do a real quick, not really so much of a review as a, just a comparison of the, uh, the edge mounts that I've got here. Um, I recently did a, a real quick uh, unboxing of the Garmin Edge 510. Um, basically, I had already ordered a few bar flies in anticipation of uh, ordering this once it came out. Uh, before I've been using an Edge 305 with the older slide mounts or whatever, but uh, I got a, found a deal online for some bar flies, so I ordered a couple. And uh, as I was browsing around, uh, I noticed that SRAM had just come out with their with their uh, Edge mount type version called the Quick View. Uh, I've got a bike that's kind of themed out with SRAM, has some SRAM components on it, and figured, okay, this would be a a nice uh, little accessory or whatever to put on the on the SRAM bike that I have. Uh, I like the way the you know, it says SRAM on it. It's uh, has a, obviously a, a wider base than uh, than the Barfly does. But I bought the uh, I bought the bundle, uh, the Edge 510 bundle, and it ended up coming with Garmin's version. Uh, they call it the Outfront, uh, a little more industrial. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, got a lot more, I guess, heavier heavier build to it. It's got a couple of metal screws here. Uh, seems to be uh, very good in terms of you know the way it's connected you kind of you know obviously you just do the 90 degree turn but it's in there I mean it's it's solid I'll take this little rubber piece out real quick it looks a little bigger than what it should be but I'll slide that out and you see it'll fit on a 31.8 millimeter uh, handlebar but it's solid you can see like when it's mounted kind of what it would look like if you were looking over the front of it the edge here you know there's not a lot of space but it's in there. I mean, it's pretty pretty tight. The uh, the SRAM it holds real well too. It's it's lighter. It's a uh, I don't know how much lighter, but it's definitely lighter for you weight weenies. Definitely lighter than the the Garmin out front. Uh, again, with its little bigger base, the I don't think the really base does anything to be honest with you. Because you look at the connection, it's really just connected here. This thing could be as big as it wanted to, and it still wouldn't really make it hold any tighter. But there's a nice firm firm hold on there. Uh, you'll notice that it's got the, the torque. I don't know if I can get it to focus, but it's got a torque screw in there, not really a uh, you know a small hex head, so you've got to have the right the right screwdriver for that. Uh, could be bad if you're out riding the bicycle. You know, you want to adjust it and you didn't have the right uh, screwdriver, that'd be a pain to adjust it. But uh, you can see how, you know, if you're riding your bike, there's not a lot of space right there, and it's really you know, in line, not too bad. Lastly, even this, this thing kind of hard to turn, so it's in there real. T it's probably in there tighter than than the uh, the out front is. So I'll undo that, and I'll put on the bar fly. You see, there's not a lot of material compared to the uh, compared to the the quick view. Doesn't have nearly as much material. Same here, not nearly as much material there. Um, little little tighter going on the first time. Um, I'm sure after a little while it'll it'll you know be a little, little, little bit easier, but you do have to you have to press it a little bit. Let's see if I can get this thing in here. There you go. It doesn't uh, it doesn't seem to snap really. I guess the connection on the bar fly just doesn't seem to be as uh, I guess as as tight. I guess you could say as the other one. I mean, you can feel it. It definitely doesn't make a click or anything sound or anything like that. But you just, I mean, you know it's going to stop. So you just kind of stop. But you can definitely feel the uh, the click in the quick view. You can actually hear it. Definitely makes a audible click. So you know it's in. Uh, I'm not so sure about the, uh, the out front. This thing's solid. I'm telling you, this thing's solid. It's heavier, but it's thing solid. Okay, it makes a little bit of a click. But, uh... Anyhow, just wanted to let you guys compare these three. Uh, have not tried. I think it's called a KCNC aluminum. Uh, I think any one of these three would be a good deal for you. Um, I think you can pick up these online. The bar flies. I think I picked up four or so. I've got five bicycles, uh, so I picked up four of these for about 15 bucks a piece. Was able to get a deal online with a guy. Just kind of threw out an offer. Hey, can you send me four for 60 bucks? And he was like, sure. So I've got, you know few of these. Uh, I got the SRAM online for $20 a piece. I only have one of them. Uh, I actually prefer this one, I think, over any of these three. Uh, I like the way it looks. Even if it's off, it still has a, you know, if you don't have the computer on there, 
it still has a little bit of style to it. I mean, it's you know got some nice beveled edges to it. Uh, so just something to think about. I like the way it's got SRAM on it. So if you have a SRAM bicycle, uh, you know, this is kind of nice. It'd be cool if, if they made one uh, that just said Shimano or something like that or any other bike. But that's a, that's a pretty cool, you know, little thing to, you know, kind of accent your bike a little bit. And uh, definitely I think Garmin's done a good job with their, with their mount. It's a, little, it's a little different. You can see the, the way they've decided to mount it. I think uh, it's kind of the opposite. Look how... Look how that looks. If you were to mount this, I think this is going to sit lower where this kind of sits higher. Uh, you know, if you if you do it in terms of, you know, how does the how does the handlebar look? So you see that the Garmin is going to sit a little bit lower, uh, which I think might actually be good because the center line, see where my finger is? The center line of the handlebar will probably run the center line of the of the uh, of the edge. I haven't really thought about it until I see it that way, but it's pretty pretty close you can see you can get an idea that it'll kind of sit down versus put it in the tram and you know it's going to sit up a little higher so that's something else to consider if you uh, you know if you want to buy the uh, the out front they have a pretty good design there I think of lowering it a little bit I kind of like it but uh, anyhow I think my preference is definitely the SRAM uh, I don't care if it sits up or sits down it's not a big deal but anyhow I've uh, rambled on enough so you've got the option of the SRAM, you've got the, uh, the Garmin out front, I think it's like 40 bucks, seems kind of high to me, but uh, anything in bicycling is high. And then you've got the bar fly, which is, you know, 20, 30 bucks, depending on where you look. Uh, after compl comparing the three, uh, boy, the bar fly just kind of looks like it's minimal, you know, in terms of its molding process or whatever, you know, you kind of get what you pay for and what they're asking for, it seems kind of... I mean, it does its job. Don't get me wrong; it does its job. But uh, in terms of aesthetics and you know the appearance, you know the SRAM, you know you got to give it to SRAM a little bit for trying to make it look a little, little cooler, and uh, got to give it to Garmin for beefing up their product and actually taking into consideration how it's going to be sitting down on the uh, on the handlebar a little bit. So, anyhow, um, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, you know, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm not here for the subscription. Uh, but I'm going to try to do some more biking videos. Uh, if I can plug my, my side business, uh, if you need any website graphics, go to graphicvoodoo.com. I'll, uh, I'll post some stuff here, uh, the link, as well as if you need any website work. Uh, I do a lot of you know, custom WordPress websites, so go to websitevoodoo.com or graphicvoodoo.com for graphics. Anyhow, thanks for checking it out, and uh, see you out on the road.